Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw and edit polylines and polygons. So let's take a look. Uh, okay, over on the tool palette here there are a couple of icons that we want to take a look at. Um, and again, we're going to look at the polyline, the polygon, and the double polyline, double line polygon. I'm going to save the regular polygon for a uh, for a separate demonstration. So we'll start out we'll start out here uh, with with the um, with the polyline. And again, much like much like the arcs, I kind of uh, I never usually know. Okay, I'm going to use this tool to get this result. I usually have to kind of play and say, okay, I like this, I don't like that, and then you make changes. So up here on the mode bar. Usually what I use are these first three modes. You can practice, you take a look at these on your own, but I, I usually many times use the first two, the first three modes. So we'll start here. And essentially what you do is um, it just draws uh, a continuous line. All, all the points are connected. So here's one click, another. You kind of see how they're all getting click, connected together. And then when you click on the last on the last click here, uh, you click and you see how it gives it a fill. It here we have a fill here, and it turns it into a polyline. Okay, um, so that is that is one way to draw a polyline. Here's another, and uh, here we every time we click, it's it helps us make make free freehand curves. So I can curve, click a curve here. So this is more to, to, if if you're if you're designing something freehand, you know, if you're designing something that you need to have a special look. And there we go. Uh, you can go back and forth between the two of them. Here I'm starting. Okay, and then I'm going to come up here and change to this. Now it's coming down like that, and then I'm going to go back to back to this guy. And there we go. And here's here's the last uh, last guy. And again, it's just kind of how you how you want it to be connected. So those are um, those are those are polylines, and that's how you create them. Um, over here, we can we can uh, do a little bit of editing. And again, it's it's very freestyle. But what I do when I want to edit is I'll double click. And you see how when I when I edit it, here I'm going to click back. I click on it once, and I hold my hold my mouse over this, and I can grab one vertex and drag it drag it around. If I want to add a vertex, click the add vertex, and it'll add it'll add one. Uh, and I'll add another vertex, and you can you can tell exactly which one. So now I added a vertex over there. You can see which one you want to want to pull. But again it's very very free form. So now I'm going to go over to um, delete these guys. I'm going to come over to the poly polygon. Polygons are a little little more simple. Okay. And I usually most of the times I use polygons if I need to create some weird multi-sided shape. There's only one there's only one mode. You click. You click again and it makes a polygon. And again, I like I say I use polygons more often than not just because they're 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 simpler to draw. That is if you need straight lines, if you need curved lines then you need to go up to the polyline. And then the last guy I'm going to show you here is the the double line polygon. And this is important if you, um, sorry about that, if you want to draw uh, objects, double lined objects as polygons. So I'm just going to start, I'm going to click here, and now we're set up as a one, one inch separation. And you see how it kind of adjusts so it keeps the one inch from, you know, from, well, I can't show you that. It keep, but if you notice it, it keeps the one inch separation all the way. Now I'm going to come here and notice when I when I click on this, it it 
extrapolates out what it needs to be and here's my here's my 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 double lighted my my double lined um polygon now if you look at it it doesn't say it's a polygon it says it's eight lines so i'm not sure if it's really making a you know technically a polygon but it's it's a good way to connect all these lines together and again you can come over and then you just edit it line by line and i've used this tool um a little bit i don't use it often but it gets one of those things when you need it you need it so uh that is drawing and editing polylines and polygons the next tutorial we'll look at is the uh creating regular polygons and editing them so uh, have fun drafting.